All this says not in my watch. Now Maharlika Manila. They go on the counterattack. They all go on the break. This is where they generate most of their opportunities. But so far, ADT thwarts most of them. I mean, if you look at the previous uh, clashes with the Ascos development team, Schrock has been such a major uh, catalyst for them. Like his ability to draw defenders. That's something that... Now Villaflor surrounded by three shirts. I mean, he's like one of the creative options here for Maharlika. You see the fancy footwork he displayed earlier. But every else in. Villaflor tries to go with the intersection, but here it comes Andres Aldeguer. He bounces pass into David Bassa. This could be more opportunity and a center forward. And so far, it's actually creating passing angles for ADT. Surprise them with like a fast, ba fast paced ball movement, which is actually key in disrupting this uh, Maharlika defense. Actually, do the same. But the Nunez and Galsim combo just stops him. Carino goes for the long attempt. But so far, Vicente Valdez. That's actually one way for Maharlika to, get, to generate an opportunity. The rush passing could be a key factor. As you can see, Andres Aldeguer, he was slightly pushed. Saud, however, is going to be open to the left flank. Goes for a cross, but Vicente Valdez was able to get now. Perhaps you might as well say, I mean, just keep on what you're doing because so far it's actually uh, looking very productive. You know, sure, there were some nervy moments, but so far this could be the chance for ADT, however. The only one who's going to be uh, reproducing his talent inside the pitch or inside the field of play, as Maharlika has also introduced two members into the squad right now. We have Earl Japet Pinero and Marvin Ace-Varai, both teams in desperate need of a goal. And the sun is out in the second half, so this could be an opportunity, and there's one by Carino. And ADT, Malika Manila. They've been struggling to generate goal scoring opportunities. Not So far, I'm looking at ADT, and they're actually making Sawut as like the guy who's going to move around the pitch exerting energy left and right just don't force the issue i mean you'd rather uh go for the risk of first play and now you can see carino on the attack and this could be a glorious chance that's a nice pirouette by carino aldeguer oh that's a lovely touch of and it all starts to how they're able to to uh, open up carino and even half here. And every time he moves the ball on the right flank, or he switches the play to the right, you know, you can clearly see a Maharlika player pressing him. Now Carino on the run. That's Babuwalan on the right. He actually goes in the central areas. Eric Galliantes! Eric Galliantes nearly could have gotten that. But man, that was a great sequence there by Askel's development team. The energy that Eric Galliantes brings in the second half is highly felt. Man, the open spaces. Carino actually find the right man. Like, Pabu Wallen was open in the right, but he actually went for the risky one in the central area straight to Eric Galliantes, who actually had an opening. It was well done. And I think this is what ADT needs to do to score. Rely on Carino's energy. And his decision making so far has been on point so far in the opening minutes. A really good attempt there. That was a really good attempt, I have to say. Well done. Yep, that's what they're doing, giving the ball to Carino. He looks like the man of the hour. It's Aldeguer to Galliantes. So far, Eric Galliantes, you know, in the defensive areas, he's also producing offensively. So the sort of wingback play he brings is something that could actually boost ADD. Normally, it was actually Amirul who has to deal with uh, 
OJ Clarino, but now Jaime is actually doing a pretty good job in that uh, 1v1 duel. See Pablo Wall into Carino. Carino looking like a threat once again, dancing his way past David Bassa. Tries to give it go with the Aldeguer to Carino. Carino has so much opening. 1v1 with Bassa. There's the attempt there by Pablo Wallan. Like the opportunities once again from ADT coming from a Carino run. Carino was forced to give it to Pablo Wallan. 1 2 against Stallion. As I mentioned earlier, they didn't snatch any win, nor have they garnered any lo any draws. All losses so far. But here comes Al. But it was once again denied by ADT. Here's Carino. This man has been energetic. Tries to give it to Aldeguer, but Aldeguer was not looking. The ball manages to hit his back. Yantes to Rosquillo. They're trying to find the energy man, Carino. And actually, they do find him. Carino to Aldeguer. Aldeguer denied by David Bassa. But let's see if he can stand his toe. Carino once again with the ball. Back to De Gracia. Maniti to Carino in the central areas. Oh, this could be the opportunity! Very high for these two teams. And it's Marlika Manila ball. The angst from these two teams are increasing non-stop. And the referee was sort of like he was interfering with the play there. So it sort of disrupted the momentum of Marlika as well as ADT. Oh, that's not a good pass there. Carino has the ball. Carino once again, but the clearance there by Ambong.